How to double your prices as a freelancer. Hey Tribe Melager here. In this video I will show you three ways to double the price that you have as a freelancer and basically end up making double as much money as you are making with freelancing right now. The way number one to double your prices and to make twice as much money is surprise, surprise, double your prices. Now you're gonna think, hmm, Matt, I'm not sure about this. I can just double my prices and people are gonna keep buying from me. Well, the answer is yes. All you need to do is double your prices and most likely this will work out. And for most people, it actually does. I was so, uh, so limited by my thinking that this is the limit that I was even trying to cut the projects. So when I say, when I, uh, when I saw like uh, the shortcut to this project, like something we can make it less user, user friendly, less, less, like less quality, I was offering it like, let's make it less quality. This is how you can save money. And this is really counter effective. So basically what this means is that usually for most people, when they make their prices, they turn them into twice as much as they were charging before. What happens is that it just actually works and people just pay them as much. The thing is that the prices that you have set for yourself right now are probably too low so you think that your prices are okay you think that well um, my price is what i'm worth but in reality you don't understand few things so first of all your price is probably too low because normally people need to charge more because they have office expenses and things like this and you just charge less because you think that your value is so much smaller than it actually is you won't be able to afford project manager the delivery guy uh, to pay accountant to handle your banking account you won't be able to afford anything and you won't be able to do it good because like you get 30 300 dollars you will get what you paid for and the thing is that you have no idea how much your value is you have no idea what's the value of your service before you are actually doubling prices and seeing whether people are paying or not. Now, if you're gonna double your prices and people not gonna pay for this, then it's either of two things. You either increase the price too much and you really cross the line of the sweet spot of what your services are worth. And this means that you can go down a little bit. And the second reason for this is because you just don't close those sales properly because your voice shakes when you ask for the price. So you say it's going to be not thousand dollars, but two thousand dollars. And then customer is like, hmm, something is off with this person. My voice was shaking when I said price is like two times more because I wasn't really believing that this is how much it costs. Uh, I, I, I don't know. It's just the way I used to charge, you know. I used to charge pennies, why would I change more? This, this isn't happening. I was some kind of afraid of people say no, because when you have super cheap services, they will say yes almost all the time because it's a bargain for them. But this is why I wasn't prepared to hear a no. I wasn't prepared for this. And uh, it's, really, it's really a hard work on your mindset you need to understand that you now charge serious prices, you now do serious business, and there are people who are less serious than you. And if they can afford working with you, well, maybe they are not qualified with you. And this is how you start, start understanding that uh, you're not the one who's going to qualify, but them who is going to qualify. You know, it's just, yeah, it's, it's work with your head, like nothing else. Just, just understand that you're worth it, Understand that uh, you, you are the one who's going to lead this project, who's going to lead this call and everything. 
And uh, this is how you boost your confidence, really. Basically, you need to exercise this understanding and this, you know, tonality and this, you know, self value that your price that you that you basically share with people is nothing weird. And that's the large problem that freelancers have. They kind of like ask for the price and beg for the price, whereas they should just say how much it is. So I know what I was worth. So when I went in sales calls in Upwork, I was like, I know I'm from Peru, but I know I'm worth like 30 to 40 dollars an hour. And now I'm like five, 50 or 60. Like, I know you cannot negotiate me like for $10 because that's not my standard. Because you know standard the is, value. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my standard is really high. Like, I know that I have more value than that. So since I already knew it, I, I think that in some way I transmitted to the prospect, to the client, to the lead that like, I know what I'm worth, so. It's kind of like you pay for dinner in the restaurant. The waiter is not like shaking voice and being scared to give you the bill. It's, you know, quite the opposite. Uh, it's just that they ask Visa or Master, right? So another reason for doubling prices is that you are going to basically do the better job for your customer because you are going to feel more valued, you're going to get more resources and you're just gonna put more effort. When you're undercharging, you usually feel like, hmm, I'm really undercharging and I'm not going to try too hard. I'm just going to do this work in a shitty way and this will cause you not to get referrals, uh, not to get customers happy and basically not become the market leader. So you don't want that. You want to be the premium and really the best, not the cheapest, right? That's, that's a big um, gap there. So really, this is the mindset uh, that sometimes when you don't have the problem of, you know, feeling, you know, not worth this much money, but you might feel that, um, you're scamming the customer. Well, in reality, you're scamming them by undercharging because you're not able to deliver them the best service. So really you're not helping them by charging less, but you're harming yourself and you're harming them as a customer because you are basically destroying the economy of quality and really promoting the economy of cheap plastic bullshit right that's 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 basically a good analogy it's it's um you buying a uh high quality water in a glass bottle or buying it in a plastic bottle like obviously people are gonna buy cheaper uh because they are cheap but it's better for them better for environment and better for producer and for everybody in the chain to really increase the quality and use the glass bottle it's just the same example so you can fly Ryanair and have the peasant experience or you can fly Emirates and spend so much more money and feel awesome and really you know th th this just completely shows you this chain of how quality services work and how everybody benefits and how shitty services work and how nobody benefits except the greedy customers who want everything as cheap as possible now that applies to food, you're gonna get low quality food because you're greedy, because you want it the cheapest, you're gonna get shitty food, you're gonna get sick, it's gonna come back, you're gonna have to pay for hospital, right? So it's the same with services. So don't be on this wagon of uh, shitty, cheap economy, be on the wagon of quality economy where you're doing the best work you can deliver the most amazing results to your customers you can and you're getting paid adequately to your value okay so this is the first way just increasing the prices the second way to make more money as a freelancer is to build processes really powerful processes so i'm not talking about just outsourcing things but building really good processes as in building really really good system with bunch of workflows building really good system with SOPs you know nice diagrams 
uh, instruction modules for people where you are recording yourself how you are actually delivering the service to the customer and start training people. So recruit them on local directories, not on Upwork, not on Fiverr. Uh, recruit local people, local directories who are not used to work digitally and um, give them those workflows, train them, obviously build recruitment funnel on my YouTube channel. There is this whole playlist about uh, recruitment funnel. There are a bunch of videos how to do it, a bunch of videos on how to uh, develop processes, standardized operating procedures, training materials. And then as you give this to your team that you've recruited using those recruitment funnels, what happens is that people are taking on the tasks that you would be doing yourself. And really, this means that, well, now you obviously have to pay those people. So maybe from, from let's say, $1,000 project, you, you perhaps lose half so you have 500 but uh, you don't spend your time doing this or perhaps it's not going to be half in reality when you have good processes and you build your company in the right way you you don't have half of the money that you that you make as expense for for the team it's not going to happen uh, those margins are are too high for any business to operate or most businesses um, to operate so most likely it's gonna cost you a certain percentage of the money so wh whatever it is what's gonna happen you're gonna spend more but uh, now you have time so your day is not fully occupied with the delivery to the customer but your day is really focused on building the business getting more customers and getting new um, the business coming in your pipeline. So this is really when things start working out for you because you're able to duplicate yourself. So, um, you know, you can have two projects at the same time. And even if you spend half, uh, you make 500 and 500 in a day. So you make a thousand, but then you can have three projects at a time uh, and four projects at a time. So if you were to do this one project by yourself, let's say you make $1,000. If you have four projects at a time in your team, you make 2,000, you already make double. Well, you have to have much more projects, but this is really when you can scale. This is really when you can get your company to the next level by focusing your time and effort on getting more customers, getting more business, getting more things coming towards your way and not really just delivering to customers constantly. And the third way of doubling your revenue as a freelancer, when we you know, take all this together, if you increase your prices, uh, if we um, get this idea of uh, hiring people and getting them uh, into the business, really the third way is to convert it into a business. So not to be a freelancer but really convert it into a business so what you can do is you can follow what more than 250 freelancers did when they converted their freelancing business into the actual business and grew this to over 10k in monthly revenue inside the tribal mastermind so what you can do is you can apply and if you have the right skill and if you can deliver good services to your customers and we can help you out applying all those two uh, things that I mentioned in this video, which is increasing prices, building the right processes and a few more important things to really turn this into a business. So go to tribalmastermind.com tribalmastermind and apply. And if you get accepted, then I mean, this is going to not double the amount of money you're making. It's going to quintuple. Um, or whatever is 10x of what you're making. And this is absolutely mind-blowing. Tribalmastermind.com. This is where everything changes. And I see you in tomorrow's video. Cheers.